Okay, I love this unit right off the bat because there's no more calibration with it. It's sleek, it's ergonomic, it's lightweight, it scans quickly, beautiful image on the screen, which is what you're known for. Uh, tremendous improvement over your last scanner. I have a Trios 3 unit and um, uh, this is what I'm used to. I've been using it for five to six years and we're, uh, we're used to the size element of this, but however, uh, the new Trios 5 is a good 25 to 30% smaller, lightweight, a little more sleek, a little bit more ergonomic, and uh, with both capacities for both buttons now, not just to capture on and off, but to actually move the screen around without having to go back to the screen, this is a much, much bigger improvement. Um, obviously, the battery has gotten smaller as well. It's not protruding out the back end, so it's less uh, obstructive to your hand, depending on if you're using a pen grasp or if you're holding it in a different fashion. Lighter weight is always better, it's more ergonomic, and then, you know, for your team members as well. Um, you don't want to overburden them, especially our hygienists who are, you know, they have to scan. So the less weight, the more comfortable it is for them as well. It really, it's a beautiful looking unit. It really is. It's, you should feel really, really good about this. One of the things that I really like on this unit that I've just seen is the haptic feedback. Uh, it does give you some uh, visual uh, sites uh, with the different colors, but having an Apple Watch and having one since the first generation, everything is a haptic feedback, and I'm used to something buzzing in my hand when uh, I'm doing something <laughs> incorrect. So what this unit allows you to do is if you're too far back from the focal length, it'll buzz and let you know that so you can go back in, whether you're watching the patient or you're watching the screen. So that's a really nice addition to this unit. In the United States, we're used to use, utilizing sleeves on, let's say, curing lights or on intraoral cameras. So we're used to using disposable sheets for aseptic practices in the United States. So this was pretty simple. The fit on it's really actually quite good. I like the fit on this. And of course, this only covers a couple portions of into the uh, autoclavable head. So this is going to be autoclaved anyway, and then this will be removed. So this is nice. Thoughtful design here. I like that. It's intuitive. Uh, you would think that everybody would do something like this.